Hi there, in this video I'm going to give you a fast method to integrate any function of the form ax plus b to the power of n. Okay, so let me give you the fast method. So, method to integrate any function of the form ax plus b to the power of n. Okay, so let me take a red pen and a ruler, quickly underline this. So if you want to integrate ax plus b to the power of n with respect to x, now a, b and n are all constants, okay? So with this result, a, b and n are all constants. And you can only apply this result to integrate ax plus b to the power of n. So to integrate a linear okay, to the power of n, the result is we add 1 to the power. So if you add 1 to the power n, it's n plus 1. Divided by that result, so the result is n plus 1. Okay? Uh, and also divide by the number in front of x number in front of x is a, or you could say the derivative of ax plus b, which is a also, okay? And then you add c, okay, if you have an integral without limits. So let me repeat the approach. So you add one to the power, divide by that result, divide by the differential or the derivative of ax plus b, okay, which is a, and then you add c if you have an integral without limits. Okay, so this is the quick result to integrate a linear term to the power of n. Okay, now where does this result come from? This result comes from substitution. So in a previous video, I went through substitution, and let me use substitution to, to get this result here. Okay, so we have on the left hand side ax plus b to the power of n okay and let me show you how to get this result here using substitution so if I take my substitution for u to be ax plus b so remember when choosing your substitution think about when you calculate du over dx is it going to relate to the remaining terms so if I work out du over dx of ax plus b, I'll have a, a is a constant, and a is related to the constant over here in my integral, okay, which is 1. So substitution does work, so I'm going to take u to be ax plus b, and in step 2, du over dx, when I differentiate ax plus b, that is a, du if I think about du over dx as a fraction, du will be a dx. And this is where we stop and think. Because remember, in the previous video, so if you haven't watched the video uh, on substitution, the previous video that I've uh, created, be sure to watch it. So I went through these steps, uh, in particular in the previous video. And I'll provide a link to the video in the description below, just in case. But in the previous video, we stopped and think about what we're going to do next. Because over here, I have a dx. Okay? But in my integral, I have a 1. So the term in front is 1 dx. So I need to make this match with what I have in my integral. So I need to get rid of this a somehow. So to get rid of the a, in order to make it 1 dx, I can divide both sides by a, or multiply by 1 over a. So if I divide both sides by a, I'll have 1 over a du, that is equal to a 1 dx. So now I have a 1 dx here, which matches the 1 dx in my integral. That takes us to step number 3. And step number three, by substitution. So let's rewrite this integral. 1 dx, which matches here, 
that's going to be replaced by 1 over a du. So I'm going to keep my 1 over a outside. So you can keep constants outside your integral. du must go inside. Okay. So that is 1 dx being replaced. And I'm left with an ax plus b. ax plus b I can replace by u to the power of n. Okay. So if we integrate this term, so I'll have a 1 over a. If I integrate u to the power of n with respect to u, I'm going to have u to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus a c since I have no limits. And I can write that as 1 over a into the n plus 1 below, okay, into u n plus 1 add c. And in the final step, let's write this back in terms of x. So if I replace the u here by my substitution ax plus b, we're going to have, okay, so let me just add since u is ax plus b, our answer is going to be 1 divided by a into x plus, uh, n plus 1 rather, u which is ax plus b to the power n plus 1 add c. So as you can see that result that we have matches the result that I've stated here. Okay, So here is a derivation of how this result is achieved Okay, but we can only apply this result to integrate a linear to the power of n. So only if you have a term of the form ax plus b to the power of n Remember the result, add 1 to the power, divide by that result, divide by the derivative of ax plus b, okay, and then add a c if your integral doesn't have any limits, okay. Let me show you how this result is applied by taking some examples. So on the reverse, example number 1, okay, so let me take a red pen ruler, underline this. So let's find, and in part a, let's integrate in this case, 2x plus 1 to the power of 6. So remember, we can apply that result because 2x plus 1 is in the form ax plus b to the power of n. So remember the result, add 1 to the power, divide by that term, so divide by n plus 1, divide by the derivative of the term ax plus b and then add c. So let's apply that approach here. So we're going to have 2x plus 1, add 1 to the power 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, divide by 7. You need to divide by also the derivative of 2x plus 1, so when I differentiate 2x plus 1 it's 2, or you could also say to yourself uh, divide by the number in front of x, okay, so either way is good, and then our limit, our integral doesn't, doesn't have limits, so add a c, okay. So let's simplify this, I'll have 1 over, 7 times 2 is 14, into 2x plus 1 to the power 7, add c. Let's try another one, part b, let's integrate, 1 minus 2x to the power 5 with respect to x. So our integral is of the form ax plus b to the power of n. So let's integrate. So I'll have 1 minus 2x to the power. 5 plus 1, so add 1 to the power, it's 6, divided by 6. Now be careful, you need to divide by the derivative of 1 minus 2x, that is minus 2, okay? Then add c, since we have an integral with no limits. So if we simplify, we're going to have a minus 1 over 12, so 6 times minus 2 is minus 12. 
into 1 minus 2x to the power 6 add c. So that should be the final answer to that particular part. Okay? Let's try one more quickly. So part c. Let's integrate the root, or let's integrate the cube root, 3x plus 1. So, cube roots, we can rewrite that as 3x plus 1 to the power 1 third. So, cube root relates to a third power. Okay? And if we integrate this, this is what we're going to have. So, this integral is of the form ax plus b. So, we have the green lights to apply the results. So, it's going to be 3x plus 1, power plus 1. So, if I add 1 to the power, 1 plus 1 over 3 is 4 over 3, divided by the 4 over 3, divided by the derivative of 3x plus 1, which is 3, okay? Add c, since I have no limits. Now, these two 3s you can just as well cancel, giving you 1 over 4 into 3x plus 1 to the power 4 over 3, plus c and you could rewrite this in terms of a root so I can rewrite that as if you want 1 over 4 into the cube root of 3x plus 1 to the power 4 add c so that should be your final answer to part c so let me also take one with limits. So in example two, so let's take a ruler and red pen, underline this, okay? So let's evaluate. So let me think of one. Uh, the integral between um, zero and one of two x minus one to the power five, okay? So, this is straightforward. We're going to apply that quick result, and then we're going to use the limits 1 and 0 in the answer to the quick result to calculate the final answer of this integral. Okay? So, in this case, let's apply the quick result here. So, this integral is of the form ax plus b to the power of n. So, if I add 1 to the power, 5 plus 1 is 6, divided by 6, divide by, don't forget, when you differentiate 2x minus 1, it's 2, okay? And the limits in this case are 1 and 0, okay? So before I replace the limits, let me tidy up um, this term here within my square brackets to give me 1 over 12, uh, 2x minus 1 to the power of 6 between limits 1 and 0, okay? And when we substitute in the limits, so upper limit goes in first and upper limit is 1, so we're going to have 1 over 12 into 2 into x, which is 1, the upper limit, minus 1 to the power of 6, minus, and when we substitute the lower limit, we'll have 1 over 12, 2 into x, which is 0, minus 1 to the power of 6. Okay, when we simplify, so 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus the 1 is 1, 1 to the power of 6 is 1, times 1 over 12 is 1 over 12. So that is what we should have from the first square bracket. Minus over here. So 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 to the power 6 is plus 1. Times 1 over 12 is 1 over 12. Okay. And 
to your right. So that is going to be the solution to uh, the first example, part A. Okay, so just one more, part B. So let's integrate between the limits um, 1 and 2. So lower limit is 1, upper limit is 2. And let's integrate this one. So 1 minus 3x to the power 2, say, with respect to x. So, once again, our integral is of the form ax plus b to the power n, so we can apply the quick result. So, over here, let's integrate. So, we're going to have 1 minus 3x to the power of, so if we add 1 to the power, 2 plus 1 is 3, divided by that term 3. And you need to divide by also the derivative of 1 minus 3x, which is minus 3, okay? And we have limits which are 1 and 2. So, as what I did earlier, so as I did earlier, let me simplify this before substituting limits. So, we're going to have 1 minus 3x to the power of 3 divided by 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. So I'm going to put my minus in front and the 9 below, between limits 2 and 1. And when we substitute in the limits, let's see what we have. So in this case, let me continue on the reverse. So when we substitute in the upper limit in, the upper limit is 2, we're going to have minus... 1 minus 3 into x, which is 2. So let's remind ourselves to the power 3 divided by 9. So to the power 3 divided by 9. So this is what we should have when we substitute in the upper limit, which is 2. And when we substitute the lower limit being 1, this is what we should have. We're going to have minus into 1 minus 3 into 1 to the power 3 divided by 9. Okay? So, you could just as well use the calculator to um, simplify that. Okay? And you should have your final answer, whatever that may be. Okay? So, the most important thing is, remember, only if you're integrating uh, a term of the form ax plus b to the power n, then you can use that quick result. So remember the quick result. So we need to add 1 to the power. So if we look over here, add 1 to the power, divide by that result, divide also by the derivative of ax plus b, which is a, and Add C if your integral doesn't have any limits or if you have an indefinite integral. However, if you have an integral with limits, once you've worked out your integral, just substitute in your limits to work out your final answer. Okay? So that ends this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do practice related questions and I hope to see you again soon.